This is the North American Toy Fair, the largest convention of its kind, where more than 30,000 toy makers, vendors, and the occasional celebrity converge. Last year, we had the six uh, original teams, and now we're adding uh, 12 more this spring, and it's, it, it's amazing that the, uh, the toys are going off the shelves pretty fast. From Wowie's robotic dog to Barbie's new hoverboard, companies are unveiling their newest gadgets and playthings. The MPD group says U.S. toy sales grew nearly 7% last year to over $19 billion, one of the strongest performances in years. And experts hope 2016's product lineup will keep that momentum going. We're going to see similar growth. We're on a, on a phase now where we're seeing year-over-year -year growth. A lot of innovation from technology, a lot of traditional play coming back, licensing being very strong. So we believe we're going to see a few years of good growth here. Star Wars has helped, with a number of companies benefiting from the franchise's force. Lego saw sales surge last year and expects that to carry over in 2016. Ninjago is a great example of our own story where we're building our own license, uh, our own story. But then of course Star Wars is another one where we buy in a license and the same with superheroes. But there's no doubt the importance of stories in the toy industry uh, is ever increasing. Licensing is a big business accounting for roughly 45% of the overall toy industry. 2016's film roster should continue to fuel sales. The hopes are very high and, and a lot of them are on the, the fantasy uh, kind of uh, genre um, with uh, the Avengers and uh, Justice League, uh, Star Wars Rogue One, but there are also um, other movies uh, that are on the softer side, shall we say, uh, Angry Birds and uh, Ghostbusters, the, the all-female Ghostbusters. Playmobil is hoping its licensing deal with the National Hockey League will help propel it into the U.S. mass market. What we decided to do was to go after it nationwide, and we are actually promoting it on television this year and um, we really feel it'll be the mainstay of our line for 2016. But while some toy makers are debuting new lines, others are revamping classic ones. Take Barbie. Mattel's 57-year-old iconic doll is getting more eye colors, hairstyles, even more body types in an effort to appeal to more girls and stoke more sales. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan in New York City.